530-8003. That's 530-8003. Jessup Premium Storage. The cool, clean, and kick. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Watson Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. This is Bill Parker with Parker Insurance and Realty, your locally owned and operated independent insurance agency. We specialize in home, auto, commercial, ATV, motorcycle, and boat insurance. Being an independent agency, we have the ability to find you the best price available to suit your insurance need. At Parker Insurance and Realty, we can help you package your insurance or find the specialty insurance required to get you covered. We are your source for any real estate needs, whether buying or selling, we can help you. Give us a call today so we can discuss your insurance or real estate needs. Parker Insurance and Realty, 265 South Macon Street, 427-9345. That's 427-9345. Hello, friends and neighbors. At Mike Burns Ford, we're offering the best prices of the year. The Ford Friends and Neighbors Year-End Sales Event. Ford Motor Company has authorized X-Plan discounts to everyone from now to January 4th. Low interest rates for qualified buyers, huge discounts, plus special offers from Mike Burt's Ford means all new Fords at the lowest prices of the year. Get over $10,000 off on select new Ford F-150s. Finance with Ford Motor Credit, get another $750 rebate. You want to save even more? Come to the house, good service bill, and we'll give you five free oil changes while in 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on any new Ford we sell. Timmy Roser, Joey Lee, Bart Duncan, Randy Williamson, and Tracy Ross are ready to get you the best prices of the year. Stop the search. Come to Mike Burt's Ford, the dealership where friends send friends and neighbors are welcome. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Ford vehicles. This is Sammy Dixon saying thank you. Thank you very much for your business. And good morning. You're listening to the Big Dog, WIFO-FM in Jessup, 105.5 on your FM dial. Good morning, Butch Hubbard here with you. Wednesday morning, ninth day of December. Currently, we have 44 degrees here in southeast Georgia, getting up to 73 today. Going to be mostly sunny today once the morning clouds burn off. The Audubon Hubbard loves at 9.3 feet and falling. It is now time for the world-famous Butch and Bob Show, brought to you by Parker Insurance and Realty, located on Macon Street in downtown Jessup. Jessup Premium Storage out here on the Waycross Highway, BNC Collision Center in Scriven, and by Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear. And, Bob, we've got a very, very special Butch and Bob Show this morning. Hey, we've got a lot of celebrities in here today. Yes, we do. We've got former school superintendent, Mr. Jerry Jones. We've got former county attorney, Bob Smith. And apparently they're in some kind of challenge. Yeah, I didn't know anything I, about it until. Uh, I got have you seen the week. video? I have not seen the video. Oh, yet. you're going. I mean, there's a video with them training. It's like the Hatfields and McCoys, but this is the Smith and Jones, the Jones and the Smiths. <laughs> there we go. Man. They're going to be going at it, Bob. They're going to be going at it. We got the man who's going to head up the challenge, Mr. Jose Warbay, here to tell us how this all came about. Who wants to go first? Uh, yeah, I'll let's go, go with him first. Uh, tell us who you are, what you do, and how this became about. Well, my name is Jose Warby. I own Jessup Advocate Kickboxing and Fitness, and uh, Mr. Jones, Mr. Smith, has been training with me for about three years. Um, Bob's lost about almost 100 pounds with me, got in great shape. So this is just a great charity event that we're doing. Um, well, it started about about three weeks ago. Three uh, weeks ago. Okay. Jerry Jones was in one of my classes, and he broke a piece of my equipment, and he said out loud in class, this is Bob Smith cannot handle this. So I videoed him saying that and I texted it to Bob Smith and then Bob Bob replied. I can't say what he replied, but he, he actually replied and then Jerry countered the reply with a video saying, I'll take your challenge at the new facility in the beginning in, in December and that's what happened. So they're going to be doing a lot of physical activities from boxing the bag, uh, TRX suspension training, Kettleballs, battle ropes, and all this is going to be on a time event. Okay. You know, it'll be this Saturday morning at 11 at a new facility right at the new Whaley Center where everything was built in downtown. All right, so it'll be the new facility in the Whaley Center, huh? Absolutely. Now, you've got two guys here who are pretty good north of 60. So, um, are you sure that they're going to be able to handle this physical challenge? They challenge each other in these five events there inside your facility. Absolutely. Uh, these, you know, these these guys are in great shape. They, they really are. They're both former athletes. I uh, found out that they were college rivals. Yeah. And Bob was talking about back in the day that he beat Jerry in college three to nothing. And yeah, Bob, so. Bob, Bob uh, played for NC State. 
Jerry played for Florida State, yeah. and they played apparently back 60s, I guess. <laughs> and yes. NC State won. Is that right, Bob? We won. Uh, we I played them two years. Uh, Florida State beat us my first year. Uh huh. Twenty-eight to nothing. That was when Fred Blindikoff was a senior, and uh, then uh, they played us the next year in uh, Raleigh. Uh, Jerry was playing then, and I think you were a sophomore then, weren't you? Yeah, I was a sophomore. That was my first year playing. And uh, we uh, we squeaked out a three to nothing victory. Big defensive battle. Slightly. Now, what position did you play for NC State? Bob? And Jerry and I both played defense. That's why. It was oh, both of you played defense. <laughs> In, played, in a sense, both of y'all won because, yeah. I played nose guard. Nose guard. And you? I was a wide receiver. Wide receiver, huh? Wow. My sophomore year. Okay. It actually was the first game played in the new stadium at NC State. That that was the opening game. It wasn't the opening game of their season, but it was the first game that was played in that new stadium. Did y'all play each other against in high school with Bob and Wade Cross and you and Wayne? Yeah, but I didn't know him. Uh and he probably didn't know me either. But, but y'all did play we, we did play at the same time. I yes. Oh, wow. I was a senior when he was a sophomore. I'm a lot older than him. <laughs> I Just a couple getting, of years. I should be getting a handicap. But it's yeah, a handicap, but he's two years, two years older, older right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's two years older than I am, so he, he has got a handicap. Both of y'all had selected charity as to you know, where's the money coming from and how much money we're talking about and what – both of y'all tell us your charities. Well, we, we, we are going to be accepting donations, anything that everybody or anyone wants to donate. Um, the day of the event will be $5 admission. Um, and, and, Joe, you want to tell them what your charity I, is? I'm going to give uh, uh, the portion that I get to Relay for Life here in Wayne County. And, Bob, mine will go to the Boys and Go Girls Club. Okay. Now, there's, there's a video there. Uh, I saw it this morning out there in the green room, and it's absolutely fun to watch. Do these guys train and get ready for this challenge coming up? And what's the date again? It's going to be this Saturday, December 12th. Uh, December 12th at what time? Uh, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Your new facility in the Whaley Center. We Bob. had to make it at 11 a.m. because uh, Jerry doesn't get up until almost that time every day. <laughs> Well, you know, he's been retired for a while, Bob. I know, and that's another disadvantage. <laughs> I have to go to work for a living. I, mean, I thought he was going to say you had got to get your 18 holes of golf in before. <laughs> I, 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 I thought that's where he was going. I was going to say he has got 18 holes of golf before he shows up. Bob. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. Get limbered up there. And uh, so uh, that's, it's just going to be a great event. But let's go back around. Uh, is there anywhere somebody can see this video? Do you have it posted anywhere so people can see this? Uh, Jones Absolutely. versus Smith, Smith versus Jones. Uh, training video. Yes, they, they can actually go to our Facebook page. It's just a bad bro kickboxing and fitness, and you see the video. Uh, Bob Smith was doing road work at 5 30 in the morning. He wanted to go to the uh, city hall steps and climb up the whole. I think there was four steps he climbed up. Uh, <laughs> all the way up. And uh, Rocky and then Jerry's on the bag punching, and uh, yeah, there. And then Bob saw the video punching and said, Jerry. Punch is very soft. I think he says uh, we have ladies that punch a little harder, and that's what he said. But then, so that's what the whole robbery came about. But the videos you can see it on our Facebook in our in our Facebook page. I mean, y'all actually got up early in the morning to do this. It was oh, five yeah. thirty, like yeah. Rocky did. I mean, because there's no traffic out there much to speak of at all. No, there's no traffic. I mean, there there was a time we were running out there at five o'clock in the morning by City Hall, and people thought we were breaking into City Hall. Because y'all had hoodies on. Hoodies on. And, yeah, so, <laughs> You know, was, I understand there was a local Jessup Knight that was really concerned about his city hall and just about stopped and went and pulled his gun out, right? Pretty much. They got one, uh, Bob, I think Hugh Armstrong knew one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Little citizen's arrest going on there. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> With that training video, folks have got to see that. Once again, the Facebook site again is? Uh, Jessup Advo Kickboxing and Fitness. Jessup Advo. A-D-V-O. Uh -huh. Kickboxing and Fitness. Kickboxing. And fitness. And fitness. Mm -hmm. All name there, okay. All right. I'm sure if they just put something like that in there, it'll come up. I, I have a question that one of our, our members texted uh, this morning, and this is to Jerry Jones. It says, Jerry, I heard that Bob Smith tried really hard to get inside your head. What effect would that have on your performance? None at all. I just ignored the rascal. <laughs> You know, I have to respond. Uh, I, I would like to say, uh, and, and let me tell you, 
before I do, I want to introduce the characters. Y'all call him Jose. I call him Obama. <laughs> you can't believe nothing he says. Uh, when we work out every morning, uh, I'm working out with uh, every morning. And this is when Jerry is in his twilight zone sleeping and at, at 530, and, and I'm working out with baby Huey. Uh, that's that's Hugh Armstrong, and, and I call him Baby Hugh because he's he's half my age. Uh huh. He tries to keep up with me, but he can't. He just can't do it even at half age, huh? I got children older than him, but he's come a long way. He's been working out with me now for for two years. But Obama will tell us we got to do three sets of this and three sets of that, and we do three sets. And he says, "I will." I said five. And you know you didn't. You said three. No, I said five. So I, that's why I called him Obama because you can't believe you can't believe anything he says. Uh, oh gosh, he's shutting the door. Well, that's, you know what? That's that's good because I call him Michelle, so we're good. Call him Oh, Michelle. <laughs> oh I don't want to go there. But, it, but anyway, I, you know, I, they started this challenge, and it's you know I'm used to. to, to, to being, at, being challenged and all by people a lot younger than me. And of course, right. he's a lot younger than me, and I, and I understand that. But when I accepted the challenge, I thought it was going to be Jerry against Bob. I didn't know that it was going to be Bob against all the Joneses. <laughs> and the Joneses, uh, Bob, you, you, un, you can understand this. The Joneses are like the keys. You ask one of them to go somewhere, and the 18 of them show up. <laughs> And like, this is about the way this challenge has been. It's every day it's something different. Uh, Jerry, Jerry go down there and work out after I finish, and then they want to change the exercise to, to flavor him. And then then I go into the to get my prescription filled at, at the pharmacy uh, with uh, Obama's wife, Misty, and she gives me two shots this week, a pneumonia shot in one arm. And I said, well, that's just give both of them pneumonia and uh Flu shot. I said, just give them both in one arm because I could just take one hand and, and still win. <laughs> well, no, she had to give one in one arm and one in the other. And I can't hardly believe it. Can't hardly lift your shot. <laughs> but that's all right. I, I'm used to the challenge. And, and, uh, uh, but, uh, you know, I, and I, I credit Jose Obama with all this. Uh, he started it, and he, you know, he's been out to, he, to Dallas to. He's on going to be in a national magazine. Of course, they asked me to go out there, Bob, uh, but my agent wanted too much money, <laughs> and so I didn't go. Uh, but uh, I didn't know you had an agent, Bob. I, well, I do. You do? Huh? Yeah, it's the mayor, <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to be my coach. Uh, David Earl is your is your he's agent, my huh? coach. Okay, he doesn't know how to spell exercise, but he's my coach. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody has any comments or questions for Bob or Jerry, Jerry Jones or Bob Smith, you can te- or anything about this, you can text us at 912-427-3711, 912-427-3711. When you can text a question or comment. Now, where are you going out to? You going out to Texas, Jose? Uh, yeah, I, I, I've been out to Texas. I went out in October, and uh, we're going to be featured in National Magazine uh, from chest of Georgia with, with Advocare and these guys, the weight loss, and uh, they, they did a full cover story on us, and so that's that should be coming out in February. Oh, great, great. And tell us about your new facility. Well, our new facility is a, a functional training facility, and basically is for people who uh, just want to come in and have a good time. It's a big family atmosphere. Um, we come in where you don't have to think. You give me 45 minutes of your time, we tell you exactly what to do, how to do it, and you're in a group setting, so you have everyone motivating you. Uh, there's kickboxing, there's TRX, there's weight training, and it's all done on a time basis, more like a circuit drill training. Mm-hmm. And that's what basically these guys are going to kick off the brand new facility with how everyone's supposed to train. Hopefully, please, people, come support Bob. Poor Bob, he doesn't have anyone to come see him. So uh, everyone come this weekend. I'm not kidding to everybody in the county like my Twister Jones is. He Twister was, Jones? <laughs> no, they are. The Joneses and the Dents and the... Well, you can get the keys on your side if Dave Earl's your... I mean, you, that'll be another... That's thing. a lot of people. Lot that's of a lot of people right there. Know, Try to go for the odd, odd any, bitch while you're at it, you know? <laughs> as long as they don't have any ant killer there to kill all of them because they, that's like ants. When they all come together, they... <laughs> 
Now, this will be Saturday morning again at 11 o'clock. They're both coming in. They're going to have an entourage. It's going to be just like they're coming into music. All the are coming, in, coming into robes, music. Though. They have robes. They have everything. These guys, I mean, got to be advertised on the back of your robe like Rocky, huh? Oh, can't yeah, say much about that, but he's got. Uh, yeah, he's coming in. They're, I think. I think Bob is going to be driving his uh, '57 Chevy in. Jerry will be driving a yellow Corvette in. You know, just to kind of get boosted up. So it's, oh, it's going to be a be great fun. community. It event. starts at 11 o'clock. Now, give us the address of your new location. It's 137 Northwest Broad Street. One, so it's kind of across from the Chamber of Commerce, right? Absolutely, right, right across from the Chamber. New location in the new brick building going up. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Have you moved into it yet? Uh, yes, we actually started classes uh, Monday. Okay, so you're there already. So at 11 o'clock, everyone's invited. Five dollars get in, but that'll either uh, it'll be split uh, between uh, the Boys and Girls Club, which Bob is doing, and the Relay for Life, which Jerry's doing. Which that's where all the money goes to in terms of charity. Oh my Lord, we got some comments up here. Let's see here, Bob. How do you plan to celebrate your big win over Jones? Oh, you do have a, a fan out there. <laughs> One. <laughs> Is that your wife? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> she knows the truth, doesn't she? <laughs> Obama told me this morning that, that uh, Peggy was uh, supporting Twister. So. Oh, she is? Uh. Yeah, yeah, she's cheering for Twister. I, I did say out there where you're going to have the e EMTs there because, you know. I did. I called Richard Johnson I, I, because I was afraid that... Uh, uh, that uh, I was going to be held liable for for Jerry falling out. <laughs> pushing him too hard. Yeah, huh? <laughs> pushing him too hard. And so I had, I called Richard Johnson to let him have the, the ambulance up there uh, for the, uh, in, in case, in case. Just in case. Uh, in well, case we did, have, that we did have that question, Bill, there. Will, will EMS be there on standby? And so there's people out there who are concerned about y'all's uh, physical safety, Bob. I don't think you have to worry about that. Oh, we don't have to worry about that? No. We, uh, both uh, Jerry and I have been uh, training hard. As a matter of fact, uh, I probably trained harder for this than I did when I played college ball. <laughs> Oh, Bob, you got more than one fan here. Yeah, that was 50 years ago. Yeah, and here's here's another fan right here, Bob, that says, Bob Smith is my hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those young girls, they love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, but, and, and let me say this. I know, you know, I'm 72 years old, almost 72 years old. And I know I don't look it. I, don't, I know you don't. Everybody, everybody thinks I'm about 60, and that's about where I look. But... Uh, <laughs> So Jerry, 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 right, or Nancy, I think Nancy told me that Jay uh, turned 70 uh, a week or so ago, and I asked to see his birth certificate because oh, I think he's about 65, but uh, <laughs> they haven't showed me that yet. They haven't showed that to you. That's shades of Obama, isn't it? All right, and uh, here's another question right here. Or not a question, but a comment, Jose. You'll like this. Jose's facility is the bomb. Give it a try. Deuce. You got it. Somebody loves your facility, a new facility there. Thank you, Deuce. And uh, ambulance service will be on call for this event. <laughs> so the EMTs are listening. <laughs> and, uh, and here is another uh, comment for Bob. It says, we are glad to hear it was a flu shot. Rumor has it they were performance-enhancing drugs. <laughs> Jerry, you want to comment on that? Would your wife be, um, not Jose, would you be, uh, do you think your wife would be giving um, uh, Bob for, for performance enhancing and drugs? No, we, we, we're we actually thinking of changing our numbers because uh, ever seen, every, uh, since this started, every night I get a phone call from Bob Smith. Oh, do you? Every single night. Every single night. Every single night. Every single night. Well, what does he want to know every single night? He wants to know what the rules are. He wants to know who the judges are. He's complaining about this and you know jerry's been a class actor with this whole thing he hasn't said a go, word jerry. he hasn't said a word you know it's kind of like you know the the, the big talker so saturday uh -huh. is it's going to be jerry, the, what, the he event. hasn't even been here he's been fishing down at the coast all weekend well, all that's that's what i you told know, bob retired, i said bob. he gets he's, to do this kind he, of thing he is <laughs> you know bob was asking i mean jerry i was i mean bob was asking me what jerry was and i said he's not worried about you he went fishing He's, oh. He went for about a week. He was fishing and having a good time. I went in this morning. I've been training and going through the whole uh -huh. exercise. I went in this morning. And, and again, this is a, two days before the challenge, and he wants to change something else that we're doing. 
And by the way, he told Baby Huey, you can pick the exercises, and that's what we're going to do. Well, every time that he picked an exercise, well, wait a minute, we got to do this. We got He can't stay out of it. I, I am Obama cannot stay out Obama of it. Obama, uh, he's doing this, huh? Oh, yeah. Is that, you know, we, we had to change an exercise that was you have to get on the change. floor to get up because Bob couldn't get up. So we really had to well, change his foot on these, you know. Well, Jerry was getting up and down, so he had to change it. He cried enough until we changed you it. You changed it, huh? Very easy. Okay. Exercise. All right, Jerry, you got a comment? I am at a disadvantage, as y'all can tell, oh, from yeah. all the conversations. <laughs> so I, I yeah, of course, there's legions of Joneses out there. There should be guys that we go, Jerry, go, Jerry, go, Jerry. <laughs> I hadn't been able yeah, to exercise. I hadn't been able to exercise and all that kind of stuff, but I'm still going to do my best to try. Well, to you're out there trying to. Were you off coast uh, fishing or just? Uh, were you out in deep sea fishing? Right in deep sea. Oh, fishing. you weren't deep sea. You was more for the big ones. Yeah, I could be. You know, work out, work out. Working out, trying to get ready for Bob. Yeah. Okay. The challenge this coming um, uh, Saturday morning. I was mentioning when we were out there in the front that years ago, back in the nineties. I put together a challenge between Tim Harris and Ros Murphy on spin cycle, and we had EMTs in there. <laughs> I have no idea who won. I don't remember if even anybody won, but that was a great time with, with Ros Murphy and Tim Harris going at each other on spin cycle. So this is going to be great. There's going to be five different events that they're going to be participating in. Jose, will you tell us what those five events are that these guys, that folks can see and expect when they get there and watch uh, sure, sure. Bob and Jerry go at it? Um, I mean, one, one of the events is going to be there. They're going to be punching the heavy bags. The heavy bags range anywhere from 85 pounds to 120 pounds. And they'll have to do a combination 20 times back to back. From there, they're going to move over to what is called a TRX, which is total resistance training. It's a suspension trainer. And they'll be doing push-ups. They'll be doing pull-ups on that. Oh, and boy. they will also be doing shoulder exercises. From there, they move to another exercise called the rib trainer. Uh, which is basically about a two and a half foot metal stick with a tension band at the end. So there'll be a certain gauge where they have to step and they have to swing that. Then they have a battle ropes. Uh, it's a 40 foot battle rope that weighs 40 pounds and they have to swing it up and down. They have three different exercises. They have what, they call, what is called a single whip. So if you could imagine a horse whip, you whip it, and, but it's 40 pounds. So they do that for about 30 seconds straight. And then they have a 15 pound kettlebell that they have to squat and bring up to their chin okay. 15 times. And 15 all, this, times. all this is going to be in a timed event. So they finish round one, we stop the clock, they get a minute rest, we write the time down. They do this three times. At the end, three we, times they have to do all that? Yeah, have end, they done this already? Uh, yes, they have. They have. And the third time is the best because that's, you really want to see him talk? Come see him. Come <laughs> see Bob. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We got some more comments here on our text line. I remember if you got questions or comments for our, our cast and crew here this morning, 912 427 3711 427 3711. But you're just getting a love fest here, Jose. It says, um, Jose is an excellent trainer and he has the new, and the new facility is top notch. Thank you. <laughs> and okay, here's one for, uh, here's one for Bob. Bob is going to, Bob is going to uh, float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Got that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, too bad, Jose, that we don't have Hans and Franz there. Push them all saying, you girly man, you girly man. <laughs> uh, Bob, questions and comments. And for well, our I'm cast. just curious. Bob said he has a coach, the mayor. I don't want to know if Jerry's got a coach. Couldn't find anybody willing to coach me, Bob. That's sad, Jerry. That's, <laughs> that's an advantage for Bob right there. He's now, is he actually coaching you, or is this your agent? No. <clears throat> he counts. You see, we do every exercise we do, it's either 20 repetitions or 15 repetitions, uh -huh. or 30 repetitions when those we do those rope drills. Uh -huh. And so he's, he's counting, uh, and, and Jerry will have somebody counting for him. Uh, it can't be a Jones, right? It can't, it can't be a joke. Well, he's trying to get every Jones in the world. In <laughs> but, uh, I was afraid that they were going to forget how to count. Uh, but uh, uh, then again, I don't know about the mayor. Uh, you know, if he can stay focused uh, to count that long uh, without, <laughs> without turning his head and starting politicking or whatever. <laughs> 
<laughs> Another comment just text in. Not to worry, Bob can do it all. Just ask him. <laughs> mouth contest that's what they and, and we actually have some judges from the liars club that oh are boy gonna be judging and and the first thing they asked was this a mouth competition you know talking back and forth and I said, uh, Bob, well that'd be no competition there. So, um, but and then and then um i agree that uh, i agree with that point jerry can't compete with me when it comes to talking but i guarantee you obama can <laughs> He, when I came to town, I thought I could talk, but I couldn't talk nearly as, as much as or as fast as Roscoe Dean. Obama tops him. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Thank you for the compliment. Jerry, you've been pretty quiet over there. You know, what's your strategy with all this? Just to hang in there and win. Just hang in there and win. <laughs> So you're going to do your performance there in the gym and not with your mouth, huh? <laughs> Don't do my talking Saturday morning. Then. That's when you're going to do your talking. Ooh, Saturday morning is when Jerry's going to do his talking. <laughs> it's all about the action, not the talking, huh? <laughs> Bob, you want to comment to that? I just want to know, besides oh. the, uh, the prize money, is there like a trophy to the winner? Is there a plaque? What's the, what's the winner get besides the chair Yes, money? yes. Um, well, Bob, Bob has been calling, he, this is a name he came up, obviously, by himself. He's been calling himself the poster child. The poster child. So, uh, the uh, winner will, will, will basically have a, a uh, four by eight poster made of them, and that'll hang in the facility, claiming uh, that, that they're a champ. If you notice uh, on the Facebook video, this is part one. Uh, I think uh, Rig said he would take on the winner from... Uh, from Justin Tyre said that he would take the winner on. Jake Riggins. Jake, Jake Riggins, he said that he would take the winner on. I don't know how that goes, so we'll, it might be a part two, but for sure they, there will be a trophy awarded. And uh, I think they have a picture of Bob or Jerry, depending on, on who wins. So it, I, let me tell you, coaching these two guys is going to be a very close match. All, all joking aside, it's going to be very, very close. It, it is, huh? Yeah, yes, it is. And I, I, I have a lot of videos on my phone of these two guys training. I've been sending them videos back and forth to egg them on, uh -huh. and, and they are pretty tough. They, okay. they are very tough. Now, I wanted to, uh, it's, it's this Saturday morning, Saturday morning, 11 o'clock. Folks, you are invited there. Get there early and get a good position there inside the gym there. Once again, the name of your gym and the location, is it? Jessup Advocate Kickboxing and Fitness in 137 Northwest Broad Street in the new Whaley Center mm -hmm. downtown. Right across from the Chamber of Commerce there yes, on Broad right Street. The Chamber of Commerce. Okay, starts at 11, 11 o'clock, $5 to get in, and that's a $5 donation. Absolutely. And uh, half of it will go to the Boys and Girls Club that Bob wants to go to, half of it will go to uh, Relay for Life that Jerry wants to go to. So it's all for charity, all for fun. But uh, we'll see how much fun's going to be had in there with all the grunting and sweating in there Saturday morning between these two guys. Thank you, guys. All right, Bob, anything else? Any final words, uh, Jerry? Any final words at all? We'll see you Saturday morning. See you Saturday morning. Bob? I'm ready. You're ready. I'm ready. All right. It sounds good. The challenge, the, ga the, the gavel's been put down. We're going to see who's going to win this Saturday morning. Thank you all very much for coming in. All right. Big Dog Country Radio, 105.5 FM. And, Jessup, you've been listening to the world-famous Butch and Bob Show. And it's brought to you by Mike Birch Ford in Blackshear, BNC Collision Center in Scriven, and also brought to you by Jessup Premium Storage out here in the Waycross Highway and Parker Insurance Realty located on Macon Street in downtown Jessup across from the Heritage Bank. Now, if you'd like to listen to this um, Butch and Bob Show again,